Hey everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to the first video in my crochet series. So this is where you want to be if you've never crocheted. You don't know what you need, you don't know what to do, but you want to do it. So you're in the right place. In this video I'm going to be showing you what you're going to need to crochet along with me in my videos. Now granted, if you follow other crochet tutorials on other channels, you might need some things that are a little different. But um, this is what I've been using to crochet my really cool Night Fury family and Chinese dragon. <laughs> so if you want to make cool stuff like that, um, this is the place to start. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need... Oh, first of all, let me tell you where you can go to get all this stuff. So I usually go to Joann's, which is a fabric and craft store. I don't know if that's in the area near you. Um, if you have like a Michaels by you, or even a Walmart, like Walmart might have most of this stuff, and you can probably get a bunch of it there for cheaper. Um, like the stuffing I'm going to show you, you can get at Walmart for cheap. Sometimes the yarns you can get a little cheaper. Um, but usually Joann's and Michael's, they give coupons. So if you're not buying a ton of things, you can use some coupons and get them for a little bit of a discount. Um, also, if you're a teacher, they give you a teacher discount, so that's pretty cool. All right, so the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is yarn. So if you're just beginning, I, guarantee, I recommend that you get a cheap yarn. So this is what I use, actually, and this is what I've used for the Chinese dragon and the Night Fury family that I just showed you. Um, so it still looks nice. It's just um, a cheap yarn that's good for beginners. Um, because it's less expensive and there's usually more of it to practice with. So I use the Karen One Pound, um, and this is obviously pink. Um, it's a bit of a like rough yarn, um, but it's good for beginners. Um, if you look on the packaging, you'll see somewhere it's going to tell you the size of the yarn. Like So right here, this is a number four. Okay, that's the size yarn I'm going to be using in most of my tutorials. So that's usually like the thickness of the yarn. Okay, so a thinner yarn will be like a three or a two. A thicker yarn will be like five, six, seven. Basically, that's the idea. So I recommend getting a size four of big, cheap yarn. <laughs> okay, so the colors, um, they come in all sorts of colors. So you can get like earth tones, you can get bright colors, whatever you want to start with. I can't say exactly what my tutorials um, of Little Critters are going to be yet, so I can't tell you what colors to get. But if you want to just practice like making stitches and stuff, just get any color. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so um, as you get more advanced with yarn, you can get like a nicer yarn. Like that's like some yarns are a little shinier. You can't really tell in this video. Um, some yarns change color. There's only a little bit left of this skein of yarn, but you can see it's a bunch of colors, so it changes as you go, so you can get like rainbow effects. Um, this is just a tiny bit left of the one skein. This one actually has a little strand of shiny... I don't even know what that is, but it's shiny, so you can make something that sparkles with it, okay? Um, but yeah, so as you get better with your stitches, um, you can get more advanced and nicer yarn, but I recommend starting with a cheap one. Okay, so that's the yarn. Let's see if I can make a little pile here. Okay, you're going to need scissors, which most people do have. So a pair of scissors to cut the yarn. Okay, um, polyfill stuffing. Okay, do not use paper towels or tissues or like if you used that in rainbow loom stuff, like get real polyfill. Okay. Um, that's also available at the craft store. All this stuff should be, okay? Um, and usually in the bag that you get the polyfill, there's a little tool that you use to stuff. It's kind of like a, just a wooden skewer looking thing. So that usually comes in the bag. It's usually hidden inside the bag somewhere. Um, you're gonna probably want to get some pins, okay? So this is a little container of pins, which you will use to pin pieces together before you sew them. Okay, so get a little container of pins. Um, you're going to want a darning needle. It looks like a sewing needle, but it's thicker, and it's not really dangerous in that 
if you do this, you're not going to poke through your skin. Okay, this is used for sewing pieces together, like sewing the legs onto the bodies or whatever. Okay, so it looks like a big sewing needle that's dull or duller at the end. Okay, I recommend you get more than one because I tend to lose mine a lot and it's very annoying when I don't have one on hand. So usually they come in packs of multiples. So get a couple of darning needles. Um, okay, next thing you might want to consider that I recommend you don't need it, but I recommend you get it, is stitch markers. So these are what mine look like. They come in different, like they don't all look like this. This is like the cheap kind. Um, this is used to mark rows so that you don't lose count of where you are. Okay, so they usually come in packs. Mine came in packs, like a pack of 30, and I only have like 15 left. I don't know where they all went. They disappear just like socks in the dryer. Okay. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend you get wire. Okay. This is the wire I recommend. It's very thick. It's called Jack Richson, and I'll put it in the description. It's a quarter inch, no, I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch armature wire. So it's very lightweight, but it's very strong. Okay, this is the wire I recommend. Okay, this will really make your creations um, nice and sturdy, especially the big ones. However, if you're just gonna crochet little critters with me in my videos, you can get like 12 gauge craft wire, which is like thinner. It comes in a roll as well, but it's thinner and not as crazy to work with okay um, if you are getting the wire you're obviously gonna want some pliers and wire cutters okay um, okay crochet hooks obviously this is a must crochet hooks come in all sorts of sizes okay depending on the size yarn you're using in my videos we're gonna use Mostly we're going to use a three and a half millimeter hook, which is, I want to say an E hook. It's either an E or a D. I think it's an E. Three and a half millimeter, okay? Three and a half millimeter hook. That's the size that we're going to use with the size four yarn, okay? You don't want to use a hook that's too small because it won't catch the yarn, and you don't want to use a hook that's too big because then you'll have giant holes in your project okay so depending on the size of the yarn you're using is the size hook you're gonna want okay so for what I'm gonna do I recommend a three and a half millimeter okay so feel free to just get that one you can get a couple other sizes if you want but you'll just need the three and a half for now um, glass gems this is optional but I recommend these because the, I use these in the the feet of the critters I make and it gives the feet a little extra weight and helps them stand okay so um, these you can also get in a craft store these are small ones you can get bigger ones if you're planning on making something big someday um, I do recommend those and you're gonna need safety eyes okay so safety eyes the stores usually have them however I usually order mine online because there's more of a choice online. At the stores near me, they only have like brown ones and I wanted colorful ones. So like they usually come in, well, they'll come in pairs. Okay, like, so this came in like a pack of like a variety of like 12 pairs and they were all different colors. So these are giant ones, which you're not gonna need for what I'm gonna teach you. But I just wanted to show you that you could get big ones. Um, safety eyes come with backings. Okay, so you can snap them onto your project and um, they won't like come off. So like for example, the backing is inside the head, so if I pull on it, it's not going to come off. Okay, the, we don't glue the eyes on, we use the backings. Okay, um, as far as the size, um, I recommend probably about 10 or 12 millimeter. For the size okay I get mine on Etsy and I buy clear ones okay clear eyes because then you can paint the backs of them with like acrylic paints or nail polish and do whatever color you want 
So that's what I did for all my critters. I painted the backs. And that's actually kind of fun because you can do some pretty cool eye effects. So clear safety eyes, 10 or 12 millimeter. Um, these are the cat eyes, so these are good for like dragons and stuff. Um, but you can also get like regular round ones. Like these are a little bigger. I think these are 16 millimeters. They just have the round pupils in them. So there's so much of a, of a variety you can pick from. Um, these ones were already blue. These are blue eyes. Um, they came that way. And then I have a pack of dragon eyes that were already colored. So like, for example, these were the purple ones. They're glittery. So there are tons of different types of safety eyes you can buy um, online. I get mine on Etsy. Okay. Um, and they all come with backings, different types of backings, depending on the type of eyes you're getting. So um, if you're starting with me, again, either 10 or 12 millimeter um, clear ones that you can paint, and or you can get the colored ones if you really want. And uh, I'd recommend getting like maybe a pack of the dragon eye or the cat eyes, and then maybe a pack of like regular round ones. Um, totally up to you. Okay, but you can kind of play around with it. You don't have to use the same exact size as I use. Sometimes different sizes create a different look to the creature. Um, yeah, and the last thing you might need is duct tape. Just because, like, for example, if you're using the wire and you cut it too short and you need to tape a piece to the end, duct tape is what you're going to want to use for that. So just have a little bit of that on hand, especially if you are using the wire. Okay. Um, I believe that is all that you need. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, so if I missed anything, it'll be in the description. All right, so check the description for, like, a thorough list. And you can use that like when you go to the store or if you're online shopping. Okay. All right. So that's what you will need. And I will see you soon in video number two.